Have you ever thought about what others can learn about you from the internet? You probably have Googled yourself before, but you may not know your online presence is far more than the items on the Google search results page. In the information age, almost every aspect of life is recorded in cyberspace, and the digital tracks we leave are called digital dossiers. Your digital dossier is all the information online shared at any time by anyone about you. It could be photos, videos, browsing history, online banking information, and more. Some may be intentionally shared, some may not be. You may also have heard of the terms digital footprint and digital tattoo. Digital footprint refers to the trail of data or information left by an individual's activities and interactions on the internet. It could be either passive or active. Some passive information includes browsing history, cookies, and device information. While examples of active data are social media posts or online comments, these are the traces you leave on the internet, and they contribute to your digital tattoo, which refers to the permanent online presence and impact you create through your online activities. Digital dossier, on the other hand. Is the term that refers to any personal information and data compiled and stored in a digital format, and they are usually maintained separately by different companies and sources. With this definition, your digital dossier is much bigger than you might think. An example would be the photos of you online. You may have several social media accounts to share your life with friends and family, and you may think that you have full control over those photos. However, have you considered the photos of you shared by others? Do you have the right to remove them? And the more important question is, where do these photos go after you or others uploaded them to the internet? Other than photos, the information about you stored digitally is also part of your digital dossier. From government records to the email address used for creating accounts, to have data recorded by smartwatches and locations shared when using web mapping platforms. All these information contributes to a digital dossier. They are collected by different organizations and institutions, and can be used for various purposes such as target advertising, personalization of services, fraud detection, and law enforcement. Although you have granted consent for the collection of your personal data, you may not be fully aware of how it is being used or how dangerous it could be if your data is misused. You may start to think. I feel like I'm exposing myself too much online. Maybe I should shut down some accounts to protect myself. Well, you may be right, but removing your accounts also means that you can no longer change the information stored in the service provider's database. Does that really help the situation, or is there anything else that you could do to better protect yourself on the internet? Here are some suggestions for managing your digital dossier. First, review social media permissions regularly. Social media platforms often make changes to their privacy policies and settings. Keeping yourself up to date can help avoid sharing something that you did not intend to. Second, discuss with your friends and family about what you are willing to share. This can reduce the chances of having pictures or information you don't want to appear online. Third, regularly search for yourself in incognito mode or a browser that does not track you, like DuckDuckGo. To see what comes up that is related to your name, checking the search results of your name can give you a better idea of how you appear on the internet. Lastly, be aware of what you say and send online. Everything you put into the digital world stays there forever, and your private words and images can be shared and taken out of context. For example, using screenshots. The best way to avoid these situations is to be careful with everything you share online. To check whether you are mindful of your digital dossier, you may pause the video and ask yourself these questions. We all now live in the information age, and it is impossible to stay invisible in the digital realm. However, as digital citizens, we have the power to make conscious choices that impact our digital dossiers. Next time, when you are asked to supply personal information. You may want to consider the potential consequences and privacy risks involved. Think about the implication of disclosing the information 
and whether it aligns with your comfort level and privacy expectations. If you want to learn more about digital dossiers, online identity, and other related topics, visit digitaltattoo.ubc.ca and check out our tutorials.